and I have a nighttime skincare routine. So I'm gonna show y'all my morning skincare routine and my nighttime one is the one that's kind of more detailed. My skincare routine is very, 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 very simple. It used to be very dramatic until I found out what works for me. This is a box that I haven't opened yet. Very weird when it comes to my soap. So I get my mom to mail it to me because I'm very particular about where I, who I'll buy this specific soap from. This is the brand. So y'all can see. Hope it's focused. So yeah, this is a soap I use. And I, I used to not use that, but I have really, I have really bad eczema and I have really bad flare-ups on my face. It took me a long time to figure out what was good for me. And the main thing that took a long time for me to figure out was the moisturizer. So I went from using cocoa butter, shea butter, to um, aquaphora, to eucerin, a whole bunch of stuff that I tried on my face and it will work. It would be fine for like a week and then I would break out in hives. Like I could show y'all a picture and I, I don't know, I just couldn't deal with it. So I called my doctor and they prescribed me um, a certain ointment to use. But my nighttime routine is a little bit different. I still use the same soap, but I use sea breeze on my face. I know it's not highly recommended. I know it's kind of harsh, but that's what I do. If it don't work for you, that's okay. It works for me. My skincare routine is very, 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 very simple. If y'all wanna see at nighttime, like how I apply the sea breeze, what I do, how I do everything with that, let me know in the comments down below. I'll do a nighttime routine, but I'm gonna just show y'all my morning routine. not lathery so you can see it that's what the soap looks like and that's what it looks like on my hand you don't need a lot air dry for a little bit and then I pat dry it. I recommend using a paper towel. Yeah, y'all can see that. So this is the ointment that my doctor prescribed. Um I used to use a different kind, but it doesn't it doesn't really matter. I don't use this day and night cuz it's kind of strong as far as like what's in it. It's an ointment. It's not a lotion or whatever. It's an ointment. But I only use it in the morning. And then at night, I use Vaseline, so I'm not applying this heavy all the time. Like I said, let me know if y'all want to see my nighttime routine. I will show y'all my nighttime routine. Just comment down below. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe to this video. And I will show y'all my nighttime routine and show y'all what I do with the sea breeze, the Vaseline. Sometimes I do face masks. Sometimes I don't. But all of that, like skin, so all of that, like mask, toner, all of that is nighttime. So if y'all want to see that comment down below and let me know i would definitely do that All for right, y'all so i just got done getting ready um i have some errands to run today so i'm gonna just bring y'all along with me for the day um it's probably gonna be a vlog of a whole bunch of days because um today's my only day off of work so i can't bring y'all to work with me tomorrow so i'm not gonna just leave y'all hanging for the day so i really want to learn how to make a reel so that is on my agenda today after i'm done running my errands i'm gonna come back home 
make a reel for my dance page once I learn how to make one. Y'all probably don't know this, but I used to, well, not used to be, but I danced in high school. I started dancing when I was three years old and I never stopped um, in college. It kind of pushed me back a little bit because um, we didn't really have a dance program that I was interested in. I went to an HBCU, so it was more so like majorette style. And that's not really my style of dance. Um, it's nothing against majorette. I just took a pause in college. And then my senior, junior year and senior year of college, I started doing on-campus dance classes. And it was like Hills classes, things like that. Um, we started a dance company on campus. Me and a couple of other ladies on campus, we started a dance company. We started performing at basketball games and like um, chapel events, things like that. So now I'm just trying to build it back up, not the dance company, but build me back up as a dancer. So that's what this journey is as far as my YouTube channel. That's what it's really all about, my lifestyle and building up my dance career again. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna learn how to make a reel and that's what we're doing today. Ain't no questions about it. What's good y'all, just got to the mall. Um, I'm gonna go in here and see if I can find some sneakers, maybe a jacket as well. And then we're gonna go to the grocery store. Um, I need to find something to eat because I don't like groceries. I don't like going grocery shopping while I'm hungry because then I start buying extra stuff that's unnecessary. So y'all decided to get Chick Fil A. Can't find no shoes though. Maybe it's just not meant for me to find basic shoes. I'm back, y'all. I just changed into my like stretching outfit or whatever. I'm about to start recording. I watched a couple YouTube tutorials, some examples. I'm trying to find the best lighting for it. So that's what I'm doing right now. I think I found the best lighting. It's kind of facing this way. So yeah, I'm about to really start for real this time. I finished the reel. I'm extremely proud of myself. Cause baby, I don't know. I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't know what I was doing, but I did it. And I did it by myself. So I'm very proud of myself. Um, it was real simple. Uh, once you figure it out, it's really not that hard to do, honestly. It's just a matter of lighting, timing. And I feel like if I was doing like, you know how people do like the clothing stuff and they switch outfits real quick, stuff like that. That stuff probably hard. But for what I'm doing, it's not really that like intricate, I guess. But um. If you want to see it, go follow my dance page. I'll put it on the screen below, and it's also going to be in my description. It's also going to be in my description box. Damn, I'm chilling for the rest of the day until it's time for me to cook dinner. Um, I may record me cooking dinner. I don't know. I don't know. I don't really like people judging my food. I like it. I eat it. It goes in my stomach, so I don't know how I feel about that. But um, yeah, so I'm about to just chill, watch some TV. I have a meeting with one of my clients that I'm doing a website for, so I'm just waiting on that. I just wanna motivate everybody, even if you work in a full-time job, even if you just graduated college, just graduated high school, whatever you do, don't let that be just it. You went to school, you got your degree, you went to school, you got your diploma. But if you have a hobby, do your hobby. When you're free, yeah, you may be tired, cause I know I be tired, but you want to pursue dance, you want to pursue music, you want to pursue uh, art, you want to pursue writing, you want to pursue anything you want to pursue, I say go for it. Just take the time out. It's all about balancing your schedule, balancing your life, balancing your time to do what you want to do. So yeah, that was my little motivational spill for a second. What's going on, y'all? It's a whole new week. We're still continuing this vlog. We're going to dance a little bit. So y'all going to see that in this vlog. Excuse me. And then me and my LSJ, we're going to Columbia just to go get away for a little bit while I'm off of work. And she's off of work before she starts her new job. So that's what we're doing today and tomorrow. And I'm going to take y'all along with me. All right, y'all. So I just got inside the studio. I'm going to show y'all real quick what it looked like. This is what it looked like. I got a whole, they got a whole ballet bar over here. Like, why wouldn't I come here? crazy but all right y'all so i just got done making a reel on instagram make sure y'all follow my dance page i'm gonna link it down below i'm gonna also put it across the screen and make sure y'all follow me on my personal instagram page watch the reel i did um ankle stretches like foot isolations things like that
just got back from the studio. I am so tired. I haven't moved like that on a consistent, on a like basis in a long time. It felt good to dance like that again. It felt good to move like that. Make sure y'all follow my dance page and watch that reel that I just posted. But I put some choreography on my personal Instagram. I'm gonna make a dance to it. Hopefully have a dance class coming up. What's going on y'all? So I'm back on the camera. I'm back home in Charlotte. Um, I know I said I was gonna record while I was in Columbia, but I didn't at all. And I'm, I'm kind of sorry, but low key, I really enjoyed myself. It's just spending time with my sisters. Um, we haven't seen each other in a little minute, so we just spent time together. And it was a quick trip, literally like, uh, we got we got there Tuesday night and we left Wednesday around one o'clock. Miss them a lot. I miss being around them because we went to school together, so we seen each other every single day. Was always with each other nonstop. So even though I'm only an hour away from them, it's still like dang, I can't just you know call up like what you doing, where you at, and pull up. It was great spending time with them. So I didn't really record that much, but I'm back home in Charlotte now. I just wanted to close it out and say thank y'all for watching. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. Let me know what y'all want to see. Um, dance projects, songs that y'all want me to choreograph to. Make sure y'all stay interactive with me. Follow me on Instagram. Make sure y'all stay tuned. Definitely more vlogs coming. Um, I have this, I'm not going to speak on it because you know the devil be trying, but just keep on watching. Stay tuned. I got a lot of things planned. I'm so excited for what I got going on. But um, yeah, thank y'all for watching and see y'all next time.